yes here we are again oh my goodness is it really thursday already welcome to day 10 of 31 days of english in october 2019 hi everybody this is mr duncan in england how are you today are you okay i hope so are you happy well are you happy i really hope so here we are again all together on day 10 of 31 days of october yes i'm with you every single day 31 days of live streams monday to friday 2 p.m and also on saturday you can catch me midday 12 p.m uk time and on sunday 2 p.m uk time every day during the month of october celebrating my 13th year on youtube there are still people asking why i'm doing this the reason is because my youtube channel will be 13 years old at the end of this month so i thought i would do something special and what better way could there be a better way of celebrating your 13th anniversary on youtube than by being on every single day so here i am for you right now yesterday we were in the kitchen i hope you enjoyed that we will of course be in the kitchen again next wednesday and the wednesday after that as well so we are coming up to a third of the way through october and next week we will be halfway through the month already it feels as if time is going by very quickly so already we have reached day 10. let's have a look outside shall we what's the view outside i hear you ask the weather today is not too bad it is cloudy we had some brilliant sunshine earlier it was lovely and then the the sun went in and then the cloud has returned but it isn't too bad however however <laughs> it is a little chilly especially at night there you can see another view looking out of my studio window you can see it is a little bit murky it isn't very sunny at the moment however it, it was glorious earlier it was so nice outside i couldn't believe how nice it was but at the moment it is gloomy here in the uk as i mentioned it is getting cold autumn has arrived and already i have prepared myself for the arrival of autumn and winter so i have my lovely woolly hat look there is my hat I have got my extra warm hat ready because apparently now this is something that the newspapers are reporting at the moment i don't think it's true but every year this happens the newspapers always say that the weather is going to be either very hot or very cold so at the moment they are forecasting one of the coldest winters for over 30 years how true that is remains to be seen however i do have my lovely woolen hat ready to keep my head warm also i have my my lovely long scarf so the scarf will go around my neck to keep me nice and warm it will keep my neck warm so i won't get a chill also and the most important thing of all in fact i have my gloves so my gloves are also ready to keep my little hands warm when i'm outside walking around and these these particular gloves are actually quite unusual because they are red <laughs> you don't often see red gloves but these particular gloves are actually red in color look at that they are red and they are very unusual you can say 
mr duncan we have caught you red-handed oh red-handed if you catch someone red-handed it means you catch them committing a crime you catch them because it is evident that you committed the crime you have been caught red-handed very nice so i have my gloves ready and also my extra thick underwear which i'm not going to show you you will be pleased to hear so my gloves are ready as well so i will be nice and warm during the forthcoming winter months there is only one story in town right here in the uk now uk means united kingdom but at the moment this country is anything but united in fact it should be un united kingdom and the one story that everyone is talking about at the moment yes we are talking about this subject here in this country everyone is talking about it because now we are approaching a very crucial moment where we have to decide what is going to happen at the end of this month and can you believe it the day of brexit happens to be on the same day as my youtube anniversary can you believe it so over the next few days we will find out first of all if there is a deal at the moment it is looking unlikely as the uk prepares to leave the european union a very dramatic week this week lots of things lots of heated arguments taking place here and also across the english channel so brexit the british exit from the european union is the only story that everyone is talking about here in the uk right now every single person has an opinion on this subject some people are for and some people are against some want to remain and some want to leave i know what you're going to ask you are going to ask mr duncan what is your opinion of brexit mm, i wonder what it could be Ooh. <laughs> So that is the one story that everyone is talking about. It is the trending story here in the UK. It's also worth mentioning that today is a global event. It is World Mental Health Awareness Day. So all around the world, people are raising awareness of mental illness. This is something we talked about on Monday. We did a live stream where I talked about words connected to mental health. So here in the UK, we are having a special week of awareness, raising the issues connected to mental health. And today around the world, it is Mental Health Awareness Day all around the world. Many people doing lots of things to help raise awareness of those who are dealing with mental illnesses. Hello, Andrew, you are first. Also, Yaman, who apologizes. Oh, don't apologize. I understand that you can't be here every day. I do know that you have a busy life. You have other things to do besides watch me. So, Andrew, you are first. And also, I will say a big hello to Yaman as well. And there is no need to apologize. <laughs> Congratulations, you are first on today's live stream. Tanya, hello Tanya, nice to see you here again. I think you were watching yesterday, weren't you? Did you enjoy my lesson in the kitchen? It was a little different. Sometimes I like to do things in a different way. Quite often people write to me and they say, Mr. Duncan, you are not the usual teacher. You are a little extraordinary <laughs> you teach in a rather unusual way i think this is true and i will not disagree 
Connell, hello Connell. Belarusia, one of our moderators, is here. Yaman is also here. And Noemi, Louis, oh Louis Louis, hello Louis Louis. Not to be confused with Louis. Hello Tanya again. Yerga, hello Yerga. I like your name by the way. It sounds very nice and it feels nice when you say it. Yerga. Mm. By the way, I've just made myself a cup of coffee just before I started my live stream. I actually made a cup of coffee. There it is. Can you see my coffee? <gasps> oh, I have a cup of coffee. This will keep me going because we have a very busy hour. We are talking about lots of things, words connected to thinking. Also, we are talking about the differences between the two spellings of the word two and also other things as well. But for now, I'm going to slurp my coffee. Mm. That is a lovely cup of coffee, although whew, it is very strong. So I think today I have put extra coffee in my coffee <laughs> so it's quite strong so i am having a very big intake a very big dose of caffeine right now so that will keep me going it will keep me active until we finish today's lesson mm. Mm -mm -mm. oh that is lovely by the way at around about 2 30 half past two we are going to take a look at a lovely video where I take a walk around the place in which I live. I promised this during the week and today we will have a look as I take you around the place in which I live, Much Wenlock. We will have a look at that at around about half past two. Meanwhile, oh, let's have a look out the window again because there is something I want to show you right now. This is something I filmed yesterday would you like to have a look at a very unusual view out of my window there it is it is a mountain well when i say mountain it is a small mountain you might even describe it as a large hill and it is a place called care caradoc care caradoc and you can see it above the horizon and that is actually the view from the top of my stairs in the house. So if I stand at the top of the stairs inside my house, I can actually see <laughs> that hill in the distance. And it's called Kerr Caradoc. And a long time ago, there was a large hill fort during the... Now, people think it might be during the Bronze Age there is actually a, a small fort up there. There is the remains of what used to be an encampment or fort, a place where people lived. And also there was a, a large wall surrounding it to keep everyone safe. And here is another view of this mountain. So there you can see it from my house. And here is a very close view so that is the same hill but a little bit closer so there is one of the well-known landmarks around this area and the hill fort is halfway up and you can still see parts of the bronze age hill fort right now it still exists so i hope you enjoyed that i do like looking out of my window in fact, you might say that from my window, you can see some beautiful landscape, landscape. So when we say landscape, we mean the view of the land as it lies in front of you. So the landscape is the view that you get as you look across the land or as you look towards the horizon you will see the landscape and view so the view 
can be a noun and a verb so you will view something you will look at something and the thing you look at is the view especially if it is a landscape so you can see something from your window you are enjoying the view view we can also use the word vista as well vista so as you look from your window you will see the vista the horizon and all of the land that lies in front of it vista and finally the panorama so when we say panorama we mean the overall view going horizontally so across the horizon from one side to the other a lot of people nowadays like to take photographs that show the whole panorama so the whole view the whole view is the panorama we can describe it as a panoramic view so when we say panoramic we are saying the view is overall it is showing everything i hope that was helping helpful it is thursday yesterday i kept saying thursday but today it is definitely thursday no doubt about it and today we are talking about some different parts of the english language including the difference between these two words two and two you can see here there are two words that sound the same but they are spelt differently and also they have different uses so very quickly i'm going to take you through i'm going to show you very quickly the two ways of using these words because there are a lot of uses first of all shall we have a look at the first use okay then why not two when expressing motion in the direction of a particular location for example walking to the shops my first visit to england we're going to a party so in this sense we are expressing motion in the direction of a particular location we are going somewhere you are going to a place the next one and there are quite a few believe you me <laughs> the next one another use of two expressing location typically in relation to a specified point so a particular point we are relating to a specified point it's 40 miles to the next town it's 40 miles to the next town place the flowers to the left of the window so you are saying where something is positioned to something or the distance from somewhere another one Ooh. another use of two in british english we use the word to to tell the time so we use it to tell the time for example it is 10 to 5 it is 20 to 6 it is a quarter to 7 so there you can see some examples of how we often tell the time especially if it is approaching the hour another one for you to approach or if you are if you are reaching a particular condition or situation the mood changed from joy to horror so if you are reaching or approaching a certain situation or normally a condition the mood changed from joy to horror I was close to tears that means I was almost crying I was close 
to tears I was almost crying another use of two and there are many expressing the result of a process or action smashed to smithereens oh I like that word by the way if you are smashed to smithereens it means you are smashed to pieces to very small pieces it has been destroyed it has been smashed to smithereens and also torn to pieces something has been torn to pieces it has been ripped it has been torn to pieces burnt to a cinder if you cook something for too long you might burn the thing you are cooking it will be burnt to a cinder two identifying the person or thing affected by or receiving something for example you were unkind to her you were unkind to her they donated 400 pounds to the charity I'm deeply grateful to you wow who would have thought such a small word would have so many uses the relationship between one person and another he's married to his cousin Anne okay <laughs> he's an advisor to the president she's engaged to an actor another use how one thing relates to another made to order so we can make this thing to order so that means we can have something specially made for you it is made to order a prelude to disaster the word prelude means just before the thing that happens just before so prelude is the thing that happens just before or maybe the first thing that comes before the second thing and made to measure something that is made to measure is made especially for you it has been made just for you it has been made to measure quite often if you want to have a piece of clothing that fits you really well we will say that you have it made to measure another one <laughs> to indicate that two things are connected or linked the dog was tied to a lamppost a dozen balloons were tied to the front door so things that are connected one thing is connected or tied to something else the things are connected or linked a couple of more before we have a look around the town to express purpose or intention I set out to buy food so if you set out to buy food it means you go you express the purpose you express the intention or you could say I will set out to buy food I will go so you are expressing intention something you will do I am going to tell you a story ah so I am about to tell a story to you I am determined to do well I am determined to do well that is my intention of course there is another spelling of the word and I will show you straight away ah yes so this one is actually different a different spelling completely so instead of one you have two letter O's something that is at or has reached a higher degree 
than is desirable so something has become more than you want you only want a little but unfortunately you have a lot you have more than you want it is too hot in here you are going too fast this lesson is too long <laughs> is that for me maybe also we can use to instead of very you are too kind he is too generous we won't have to wait too long so you can also use this word instead of very and finally to can mean in addition to or also so you are adding something to the thing that you already had so maybe two people are doing something and then a third person will come to or also or even as well you are visiting here too you are visiting here too so we are expressing surprise that another person is also visiting the same place as me you are visiting here too it is raining too so maybe you are expressing the weather conditions maybe you say oh it's very windy today it is raining too it is also raining and maybe your friend wants to come to your party but they haven't been invited but you can say you can come too you can come too also I hope that helps a lot of things to explain there so many uses of a very small word and that is one of the things that always fascinates me about the English language is how very small words tend to have many definitions it's true thanks for your messages today I am deeply grateful to to those who think about humanity and do the best the best that we people can live with love and peace side by side well I, I always hope and as they say hope will always spring eternal thank you very much Sharia Sharia Mizade I hope I pronounce your name right I will be saying hello to Japan in a few moments but first of all we are going to take a look around the place in which I live a lot of people have asked Mr Duncan can you show us where you live can you show us the town in which you live so just for those people who are curious here is a very special video just for you many people ask me mr duncan where do you live well i thought today it'd be a good chance for you to have a look in the place i live because it's such a beautiful day today so here it is here is the place in which i live it's much wenlock in shropshire one of the most beautiful places in england and if you haven't been here my question is why not can you see what's over there that is the local undertaker they are the people responsible for arranging funerals they help to dispose of dead people it's a rather sobering thought that one day those people will be putting me in the ground If there's one thing I really love about a day like this it's 
the gentle calming breeze just a very gentle breeze blowing in the air helping to keep me nice and cool the word breeze can be used in many ways of course it is the gentle wind cooling and refreshing as it blows by a very gentle breeze just like today really there is a lovely summer breeze in the air keeping me nice and cool also breeze can mean to do something very easily I passed my exam yesterday it was easy in fact it was a breeze Something that is very easy to do, something that you found easy to do, can be described as a breeze. To move gently, maybe into a room, or out of a room, or in front of a group of people. To suddenly appear can be described as breeze. He breezed into the room with complete confidence. Now there is a very interesting place, a gate to a secret garden, a place that is unknown and never seen by anyone. Just like the story. Have you ever read that story? It's called The Secret Garden. It's a brilliant story, full of adventure, excitement, mystery, and of course, a little bit of fantasy as well. We all like a little bit of fantasy in our lives from time to time. Do you recognise this place? This is where I did my famous puddle dance. But as you can see, the puddle has now gone. The water has disappeared. It's so hot at the moment. The puddle has completely evaporated. It might sound like a strange thing to say, but due to making these English lessons for you, my life changed completely and here is what happened way back in 2012 i made a special lesson right here in much wenlock talking all about the origins of the modern olympic games and i fell in love with this place i loved it so much i ended up moving here and so did mr steve the field behind me is where every year the Wenlock Games are held. And this very place was the inspiration for the modern Olympic Games that we all know now. Here's an interesting phrase that you might hear used quite often in English. The phrase is cross the line. If you cross the line, it means you have gone too far. You have done something that has upset many people or one person. You have crossed the line. Up until a certain point, what you were saying or doing was okay, but you had to go too far. You had to cross the line. You went from 
being okay to offensive. You went from being acceptable to unacceptable. You crossed the line. I must be honest, it is absolutely baking hot today. I can't believe I've been outside for the past four hours filming in this heat, this intense heat. I think it's fair to say that we will all remember the summer of 2018. And can you see behind me? Look, everywhere is scorched. The sun has dried all the grass, all of the trees, all of the bushes, everything looks parched and tinder dry. And that is one of the reasons why there are many wildfires breaking out at the moment, including here in the UK and more recently in Greece. If you remember earlier in the year, I showed you this field. I showed you all of the yellow flowers that were blooming in this field. This is rapeseed. So everything you see behind me is rapeseed. And now as the seeds come out, you can see now that we have small seed pods and inside these are the rape seeds. And these will be gathered very soon and then they will be compressed and all of the oil will be extracted. And that is rapeseed oil. But as you can see, once again, the theme is very similar. This whole field is now very dry, very arid and Perhaps, I'm not 100% certain, but perhaps this whole crop has been ruined by the hot weather. Although, if I just have a look inside this pod, yes, you can see all of the rape seeds. Can you see them? There they are. Very tiny black seeds. And that is where the rape seed oil will come from. Can you see what I've got here? A lovely ice cream. The only problem is, it's so hot today, the ice cream is already beginning to melt. However, it is very much appreciated. There is nothing worse than being hot and sticky on a day like this. Right now I'm in the square here in Much Wenlock, in the centre of the town, a very small cosy area. In the afternoon lots of people like to come and sit down, especially today because the sun is out and some people have decided to come into town to enjoy the sunshine and of course sample the local ice cream. So for those who are wondering where I live and the town in which I live, now you know the answer. <laughs> you are very aware of the place in which I live. So I hope that answers your question. And I hope you enjoyed that video which was filmed last year during a very hot period of weather. So it was a very hot summer last year in 2018. So I hope you enjoyed that. Some people saying the streets look so small. That is true. So the place I live in or at is a very small place. And that is why the roads are quite narrow. Sometimes the town is very busy, especially during the summer months when many tourists come to visit. 
so yes it, it can be a very busy place but also sometimes it can be very quiet and secluded so I do like this place and as I mentioned in the video I live here because of making these lessons so because I filmed the lesson here in Much Wenlock I actually fell in love with the place and now I live here so sometimes the things you do in your life can take you in some very interesting directions that's what I think anyway Christina says what a lovely walk around Much Wenlock there are many historical places to visit and there is nature everywhere there is actually an old abbey as well which is now derelict so when something is derelict it means it has been destroyed there is something left of it so you can still see it but sadly it is derelict it is unused it has been badly damaged it is derelict thank you to Lagell, hello Lagell, fascinating. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that. Najib is here. Yes, Mr. Steve is always here with me, except for when he's working. So he's not here at the moment. A lot of people wondering why Steve isn't with me today, but he can't be with me because he's working. In fact, I think today he's gone all the way to a place called Macclesfield. So Steve today is very far away hello also to Anna it was love at first sight with much Wenlock well I must be honest with you it is strange sometimes how things that you do in your life can actually affect other things as well so I just happened to come here to to do a lesson to make a lesson so I was doing some filming just before the Olympic Games began in London and that's the reason why I came here to do some filming but then I fell in love with the town I loved the place I loved the surroundings so eventually in 2013 we actually moved right here we moved to this place my my nephew is watching at the moment hello Damien afternoon mr duncan <laughs> watching you live now from stafford i should be working oh very naughty so sometimes when we should be working we we like to do other things instead and we call that skiving <laughs> if you skive it means you avoid doing the thing you should be doing or perhaps you avoid avoid doing work okay then i will i will probably see you at the weekend actually because i'm coming over stafford yes stafford is the place where i was raised that is my hometown mr duncan pedro belmont i think pedro is making a point Mr. Duncan, you should give your special attention for your followers from South America. As you know, you've plenty of fans here too. Late and live. This is something I used to do. I used to do a, a very late live stream, but I stopped doing it for two reasons. One, it was very tiring. And two, not many people were really watching to be honest so those were the main reasons Damien says by the way Damien is my nephew it is quiet in the office oh aren't you lucky I wish it was quiet and relaxed here I've been doing this since 7 30 this morning so normally in the morning I get up very early and I have to spend many hours preparing this live stream. So <laughs> I do spend a lot of time doing this. In fact, during October, I am doing this every day. Can you believe it? 31 days of live English every day during October. I know it seems incredible, but I am doing this every day and I will be back tomorrow. So I'm here for another 10 minutes. Thank you, Yaman 
who is watching in Indonesia yes I have a lot of people watching there so it's very nice thank you Pedro for <laughs> for your suggestion Shah Sha says I have been three times to London it is a really nice city and also multicultural there are many people from different parts of the world with different languages and from different cultures living in London I will be there at Christmas <gasps> oh I, I was determined I was determined not to say Christmas during October but sadly there we go I've said it yes people are already talking about Christmas here in the UK there is a shopping channel on television here in the UK and already they have started their Christmas promotions <laughs> it's it's still October it's only the 10th of October please can everyone stop talking about Christmas it's too early to talk about Christmas hello to freedom thinker hello good evening it's great to have you as my online teacher yes I have received some lovely comments from people saying I will miss you when you've gone well I'm not going anywhere but during October I am with you every day so I think a lot of people now look forward to watching my live stream every day and you're not the only one because Steve said two days ago he said why don't you do every day all the time <laughs> what <laughs> I'm not sure I'm not sure about that not I'm not sure about every day and and last night we were having our supper last night and I made a joke to Steve I said why don't we do a live stream on Christmas Day and Steve said okay I'm not sure about that <laughs> hi sir what do you do with your printed pages oh I see do you mean do you mean these do you mean my my pieces of paper well all of this is actually reused so you can actually take the back off this you can see here I've used some tape so I can take this tape off and I will actually reuse this paper so I can use this paper again for other things I often use the paper that I use in my live streams for for writing down notes so all of the paper that I use does not go to waste it is used again in some way oh by the way <laughs> there it is again Brexit everyone's talking about it some people are fighting about it some people are going into the streets and they are having fights in the street okay not really not yet anyway Yaman says I am in Bundung oh I wonder where that is have you ever sinned Palmyra or Palmyra says Mr Duncan what a sin you made oh I see you are you are telling me that I've made a sin I wonder what that sin is there are so many of them here is an interesting word and it relates to something that we do quite often it is something that I do and also Mr Steve does a lot especially at night Steve often does this particular thing at night when he should be asleep do you know what it is <laughs> no it's not that think think so this is something we all do sometimes we do it a lot and sometimes we do it very little or too little so to think is to consider something in your mind the things that are going over in your mind sometimes you think about maybe just one thing sometimes you will have lots of things to think about there might be many things that you have to think about at the same time and sometimes I think thinking can be a real pain in the neck 
because especially at night you're trying to get to sleep you want to get to sleep but your brain is still working it still wants to think about things and your body is saying for goodness sake go to sleep brain so to think is to use this to maybe imagine something or to go back in time and think about something that happened a few days ago or even a few years ago think another word we can use is consider so you will consider something quite often when we consider something we might have to come to a conclusion we might have to make a decision so you consider you think about the thing in question maybe you have to make a choice or a decision you have to consider consider maybe you have to consider your choices or the things you might do so there is a good word consider you think about you consider I like this one this is a great word ponder I know it doesn't sound like a real word but it is a real word if you ponder it means you think about something you maybe think about the meaning of life perhaps you are lying in the garden on a warm summer's day and you are thinking about all of the things that are happening around you you will ponder ponder to consider hmm hmm what's it all about I will ponder another phrase mull over if you mull it means you think about something so if you mull over something it means you you will think about it again if you have to make a decision if you have to come to a decision you mull over a particular subject or topic mull over I won't give you a decision right now I can't tell you what my answer is right now I'm sorry I will have to go away and mull over my decision I will have to think about it sometimes thinking means that you have to make a decision so quite often when we think about something we might have to come to a decision and to do that you will need to judge so when you judge something it means you are considering the outcome or maybe you have to make a choice of some sort so to judge a situation or to judge uh outcome of a situation so you have to make a decision or a choice but to do that you have to judge quite often during a contest there will be a group of people who have to choose who they prefer or who they like and they will judge the contestants another one another way of expressing feel and judging way you weigh so to weigh something is to think about something maybe you have to come to a decision you have to make a choice you weigh the idea you weigh the consequences you think about the outcome so here is another way of expressing thinking as a way of making a decision you weigh the consequences you weigh the outcome you consider it in your mind <laughs> oh I like this word here's a big one sometimes I like to get a big one and show it to you ding adjudicate oh yes I like that one I like that one adjudicate adjudicate if you adjudicate it means you judge you make a decision you make a choice so very similar to 
very similar to this word very similar to judge so you judge something you adjudicate you adjudicate so maybe you listen to maybe two sides of an argument but then you have to make a decision you will adjudicate you will oversee something with a view to making a decision or a choice adjudicate I like that one that's a great word and you do hear it a lot especially in legal terms so in law you will often hear people say adjudicate or adjudication and finally you need to think about something you need to figure out if you figure out something it means you think about it or maybe you come up with an answer or you work out what you should do you try to come to a decision or you try to work out how to do something you figure out and quite often if you want to figure out something you have to think and there it is we are coming towards the end of today's live stream I can't believe how fast it has gone but don't worry because I'm back tomorrow Friday is just around the corner before I go can I say a special hello to all my lovely friends watching in Japan take care because over the next 24 hours there is a terrible typhoon apparently they are describing it as a super typhoon typhoon hagibis or is it hajibis hagibis typhoon hagibis at the moment is making its way towards Japan with winds apparently some of the wind speeds will be up to 200 miles an hour so this is a pretty ferocious storm heading towards Japan so can I wish all of my friends watching in Japan a safe weekend stay indoors don't go outside and please take care and stay safe as I just said thank you Eric thank you Palmyra thank you Najib is way a synonym of measure yes it is especially when we are talking about how heavy something is so weight if you weigh something it means you want to know how heavy something is so weigh is the verb form you weigh something so in that sense you are working out how heavy something is but if you weigh in your mind it means you are considering the situation thank you very much Christina Amri hello Amri I didn't see you on the live chat nice to see you here now hello Naomi Pachu Christina thank you very much for your company I'm going because it is now in fact it it has just passed three o'clock here in the UK hello also to Nasir who says don't judge the book by its cover hmm I like that one so the appearance of someone should never be taken as what their character or the way they are actually is so you might look at a person maybe they appear angry or upset or maybe you dislike them because of their appearance however you should never judge the book by its cover you might be surprised at what is between the covers thank you very much for joining me I'm going now by the way <laughs> I'm going to finish off my cup of coffee this is Mr Duncan in the birthplace of English saying thank you very much for watching me today I'm back tomorrow 2 p.m UK time and all I have to say now is thanks for being here on day 10 I will see you tomorrow for day 11 and of course it's Friday tomorrow the weekend is just around the corner and of course you know what's coming next ta-ta for now <laughs>